should be fairly live here. By fairly, I mean entirely. Lobby's about to get going. We're actually a little early today. It's season one, so everyone's excited. No one wants to be late. Whole squad is up and ready to go. If you haven't read the title, then you can see that we are in Austria. For, there we go, for race week one of the Midwest F1 League season one. We had a lot of followers late on. Or, oh, actually, sorry, no. We're at 151 followers. Good way to start season three. Let's see how much we can can progress from this point forward. Actually, let me shoot. send it in. 151 followers is where we stand at the Twitch page. YouTube, that is. I think we're around 80. Let's pull that up. 81. Okay, we're getting there. So, yeah, yeah, we're getting there. Season 3 is starting today. Starts with F2, as always. Actually, not as always, but since the start of Season 2, we start our seasons off with F2, whereas that lands on the Wednesday, and our league racing lands on the Thursday. And then Friday is a different setup here, so I don't know, I don't believe we'll be streaming that. I don't think so, but... Different schedule, that one, with a mix of Project Cars 2 and Gran Turismo Sport, as well as a little bit of Dirt Rally 2.0, so that's a different one. It's not something that I know too much about, so I'm not going to dabble into it for the commentating side of it. And two days is enough for me. But we'll get right on to it. We'll stay on with Mystic Joker. This is Jacko there. Actually, yeah, Jacko. So we'll get on Jacko, who is our Season 2 champion of F1 and F2. So congratulations once again to Jacko. We'll see if he's going to be in a little bit more difficult this year as he's got a couple of quick drivers he's going to be up against. That being, you can see Mystic Joker, he signed up for full time this season, as well as Jinnet to win it is a very quick driver, so we'll see if he's able to keep the consistency uh, throughout the year. You can see right now Valentine is actually having a good go here in the rain in Austria, so let's see how it finishes out here. We're halfway through Sector 2. Looks like the pack is just going to start making their way through turn six. Mystic Joker actually claims the lead. Valentine drops back a little bit. Ray is in the mix as well. Jacko still holding on to fifth. JC Blackley doing a good, good job fighting in the top ten right there, trying to get in the top five as well. Hotspot and Suey are sitting eight, nine. Hammer and Super Ninas are jumping in and out of tenth and eleventh. But it still stands with Mr. Joker here. He's going to try and come over with pull. Jacko's going to do a little bit of maneuvering. On the final couple turns actually loses a little bit of time. Money Matt retires from section. the sessions. Mr. Joker does get pull. Cake Thomas misses out on the front row. And just, I, I'm not sure. Valentine must have taken a quicker angle at the final checkered line there. And he edges him out in the Carlin. But as it stands, Mystic Joker gets pulled by nearly a half a second, so we actually crushed that. That was doing a little bit of practice in the wets, I guess. But he'll stay pull. Valentine on the first row alongside. Cake Thomas missing out by four thousandths of a second in third. Ray in fourth in the second row. Janet to win it and Jacko nearly a second behind Mystic Joker in fifth and sixth in the third row. JC Blackley in hot spot. 7th and 8th, Impossible Bacon and Hammer in the top 10, Super Ninas, AE Daltonian, The Garris Fact, The Best Paunch, HSVDT, Knuckles, Spaceman, Chunky Corgi, Sui, uh, Will Ann's actually surprising getting a disqualification as well as Money Matt, a disqualification there, so they'll be starting in the back of the pack. It's going to be difficult for them. Who? What is in store? Wow. The Cubs are getting absolutely shellacked right now. That's not a good sign. 
not gonna lie, I didn't throw too much stock into this year, but we'll see how it goes. emotes. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So 35. Right now we have seven subscribers. Okay. Unlock regress. Mission get 35 subscriber points. We get an extra emote slot. Okay. So more subscribers equals more emotes. Then the bits. Alright, I need to freaking look into this crap. What am I doing? Shouldn't be doing it right now though, and I won't be doing it right now. But here we go, stream manager. I thank thee for all those that have tuned in here tonight. It looks like the rain has subsided here in Austria, the Styrian Grand Prix of what it was called for the second Grand Prix last year in race week two for Formula One, but we are back for race week one for us as well. So we'll see what the F2 cars can do here tonight. Mystic Joker taking pole alongside Valentine, so we'll have to see what is to come and the best pawn shoots us a nice little tier one subscription and they've subscribed for four total months and are on a three month streak thank you very much pawns appreciate having you in the league as well you supporting it the way you do won't be the same without guys like you pawns but we are about to get underway five red lights go out actually ten red lights but valentine looks like he got a really good jump and does have the inside line on mystic joker i think that's jacko going on the inside line there Tries to shoot it down, but Ray's going to fight him all the way through. Valentine does hold on to the lead. Jacko ends up taking the position in the end. Ray and Jinnit's winner are going to be battling it up the hill. Jinnit's got the inside line and does able to pull out the car. We got a three-way battle between Cake Thomas Hotspot and Hammer into turn three. And it looks like Hammer's able to take it. Ooh, a little, little bit of an oversteer there. I think that was from Cake. Garris Vac and Cake are into a little bit of a tussle there. But it's actually Garrus Vac and Hotspot, two separate commentators in separate um, games, that is. Impossible Bacon is battling, but it looks like we might have got Knuckles spin out. Will Anz is all the way back there still. Positions being tossed all over the place. But A. Daltonian is into 10th. We're going to see what he can be able to do and fight his way up. Cake Thomas breaks a little bit deep trying to avoid Garrus Vac and the BWT used to seeing the BWT sported by the Tim Lee squadron there, but oh, A.E. Daltonia misses the break point and smacks his back into Cake Thomas and has to go in for a wing change there. JC Blackley, I thought he lost positions there, but he seems to be okay. Hotspot is going to try and work on Hammer here. Mystic Joker is getting ever so close for, to take back the lead. On the soft tire compound is Hotspot, and he gets the move done. Up ahead, Hammer, and Cake Thomas gets overtaken as well. Oh, what the heck? There we go. Garrus back working on Hammer now as I'm trying to get back into my swing of things after a little bit of a break. And down the inside goes Hammer very deep and a launch from, I think that was Cake Thomas. But he has to go back because he's got a little bit of a damaged wing. And we got three wide, or nearly three wide, with Cake Thomas trying to work on JC Black and the best pawns, but it's actually Blackley, Blackley going down the inside on pawns, and pawns is going to try and battle him out, but it looks like Blackley's got the whole car ahead. His pawn's going to try and take a lunge back into six. No, he won't. He's going to have to... See, actually, a little bit of contact between the two going through the turn. Chunky and Ninas battling down the grid. Mystic did get the move on back into first place. Jacko's trying to get himself back into second, as I should get back onto the lead fight here. Valentine was having a pretty good time set out there, but felt the pressure of Mystic Joker. Mystic was able to get the move done. Sets fastest lap as well and is trying to open up that gap. 
I got caught away in the midfield battle a bit there, but Mystic works his way through Valentine and is trying to open up that lead, pull up the telemetry and lap data, I will, as you can see what's going on. JC Blackley, looks like he got it done on VAC and ends up also getting DRS, and VAC is the one that misses out, so he's going to have to lose two positions here. And VAC is watching Cake Thomas go extremely deep through four there, or three, sorry. And he has to slot in behind, and Blackley is the only one that doesn't get DRS, but it's back who gets a really good run. Valentine is able to close the gap a little bit. Hammer and Hotspot are battling it out through four, and Hotspot gets a little bit of oversteer, and that's going to bring Hammer right back into the fight. Can Hammer get back alongside? No, he can't. Vac and Money Matt are now into it as Vac continually loses positions. Money Matt goes around the outside on six and gets the job done. Actually, no, he doesn't. He goes onto the gravel. As he's trying to collect himself, does get himself back onto the track, does lose a bunch of the positions that he worked so hard to get on. But Impossible Bacon is now also trying to work on VAC, as VAC has been in a fight for a little bit of a while now, and it's actually HSVDT that gets the overtake on the Garris VAC, as we've got a lot of fighting throughout here. We're back onto the lead pack that we go. Valentine's going to be in real trouble now, as... Jack who gets DRS is now in the slipstream and Jinnich to win it as well is on the outside looking in on that battle. Valentine and Jacko try and outbreak each other but it's actually Valentine that goes for a lovely little switch back there and gets a really good launch out but Jacko does once again have the DRS that goes back into the slipstream of Valentine. Valentine parks is right in the middle of the track. Jacko goes down the inside line. Valentine defends around the outside. A little bit of a contact between the two. And it's Jacko who ends up pulls a position in the end. JC getting close. HSVDT getting really close. Super Ninas getting real close. Possible Bacon down the inside line. Back onto the grass. Back losing another couple positions now as he's back into 14th place. Knuckles and Sui battling as well. Down for 17th and 18th. Looks like Knuckles gets a position out of that. Jinnit to win it now working on Valentine as Valentine's starting to feel the stress of those tires now as he's putting a lot of work into him early on in these couple of lap series. I'm going to say DRS kind of bails him out of that one as Jinnit to win it gets a really good run and would have had the overtake unless Valentine did not get DRS as well. Best pawns into the pit. Uh, do we have an instant there? Is that Chunky Corgi? No, it's just people coming to the pit. We seem to be a-okay. Valentine trying to catch Jacko as well as Jinnit to win it is right in behind Valentine and Jinnit goes for a dive down into turn three gets the move done Valentine once again goes for a switchback but nothing quite going there as actually no he will get back alongside him and does get the inside line going into four but can he do something they break fairly evenly and Valentine is able to get it but now here we go Jinnit to win it goes for a switchback and gets himself back along the inside line there riding around through turn five and into six is valentine who has the inside line forces Jeanette to win it goes the long way around to get the move done and still battling throughout the turn jenna twin is able to do and get the job done in the end so jenna twin into the podium position valentine just falling out after a nice little qualifying there still a decent amount of racing to go here so he's got a chance to bring us all back into it but back onto the midfield battle we go. HSVDT currently leading the charge for ninth place. He's three seconds off of eighth. And he's got a little bit of a conga line in behind him as Impossible Bacon is going to try and work on Super Nina. So lock up from HSVDT up ahead and into the pits. He goes to go onto the soft tire compound. Pit strategy is going to come into play here. Did Ninas get... Ninas just did get... DRS, but still Apostle Bacon's able to get alongside him here. He's going to have to push him around the outside and Ninas actually does a good job of going deep through that turn, leaves Impossible a good amount of room while still taking a clean racing line through, clean enough to still hold his position up the hill, but it's Impossible who's going to try and dive down the inside line, but opts out, doesn't feel like there's enough for him going there, and I don't think he's going to be able to do it into four now, and Money Matt may think of having it go into for 10th place here. A couple penalties to be handed out. But no position changes as of right now. Chunky Corgi trying to work himself into the top 10 right now. You can see that position just off into the distance there. 9, 10, 11 all right in front of him just at the tip of his fingers as well as Knuckles in behind as well. You can see all those positions not too far away. Jinnit to win it is trying to work on Jacko here. It's a good run out of turn 10 
into DRS as well as the slipstream of Jacko and that Vertuzzi. Jin is going to get fairly close here, but no, nothing going there. And Jinnit, once again with DRS, into the slipstream of Jacko he goes, getting some good solid pace. Buck 80 as he stands right now, miles per hour that is on the inside line into turn three. Jinnit to win it, will get the move. Jacko goes for a switchback, but Jinnit is showing too good of pace, and Jinnit actually gets a little bit of oversteer, may have looked, and Jacko is now back alongside and ahead, actually, as he overtakes back for second place into turn four. Jinnit to win it, looking for an, a switchback, but Jacko blocks that all the way through. Valentine still sitting in behind me. Think about a little bit of an undercut here. Er, yeah, yes, 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 an undercut on the pitch strategy, but ouch, as we just saw him barely go over the line, and that's what's going to push him back in the time penalties here. So this race is very much opened up. Now we still have battles going throughout. Spaceman's trying to work on Knuckles down there. Um, but right now we got a battle for third, second place actually, with Jinnit to win it here as he gets a good run out of 10 and he's even closer this time on Jacko. He's got the speed. Why am I showing a miles per hour? That is weird. I'm Canadian. I swear I changed that, but maybe different on F2s. So you might have to change it on that as well. But fa Oh, sorry. Mystic Joker into the pits. That's what kind of threw me for a loop there. Jinnit going too deep into turn one and has now got second place in jeopardy as Jacko moves up into first with Mystic not wanting to risk anyone undercutting him. So Hill is actually the first into the pit out of the group there. Spaceman and Knuckles now into a little bit of a tussle there with Spaceman getting the better. But back up into the battle. Valentine's going real deep through turn four. Janet gets the overtake in the end. Goes, splits the, splits the D, I want to say. Kick it to a little bit of hockey. But Janet blocking Jacko all the way through the turn. Man, I have to deal with a lot of tongue twisters here, I swear. But Jinnit now trying to pull away from Jack. We'll have to see how that goes. Spaceman, I was about to switch on to his POV as he looks like he lost the position back to Jinnit. Gets a penalty as all three drivers come into the pit. Ooh, no penalties for any of them, so that's going to help him out. We'll get on with Mystic Joker as they're looking to undercut him, but I think, Mr. Er, overcut, sorry. But Mystic Joker, I think he had his pit planned out prior to. This DRS is gonna help him down the straight, especially, ooh, no, Spaceman does get DRS, but Mystic is trying to get the pass. Spaceman, I, uh, yeah, thinks better of it and doesn't want to battle Mystic throughout that turn switch over to the pit stops actually and yeah so spaceman is yet to pit he's on far older softs than what mystic joker is sporting so he wouldn't be able to compete anyway here but mystic is able to come out with a good comfy cushion of about four seconds to himself and Jinnit to win it in second place do, 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 do. down the order down the order jacko and Jinnit. the battle for second place With all the drivers ahead still needing to pit, of course, Will Lands and HSVDT, a good battle on the back of the pack. Going in for 16th place. Oh, Will Lands, I think, turns a little bit too hard. She's trying to come back at HSVDT. Does have DRS here. Is Will just going to lick the stamp? Yes, he will. Once again, a little bit of a tap from the two drivers here, but HSVDT does a pretty good job of just holding on, trying to send it around the outside, and does do so in the end, and gets 16th place back as a nice little battle down at the back of the pack between a couple of really solid drivers, which is what I mentioned before there. But we may follow this battle a little bit longer here, as it doesn't look like Jacko is getting too close to Jinnit here. When possible Bacon is coming out of the pit here. Let's see if he can get himself back into the top 10 as he's coming out in a little bit of a pack there as you can see on the right side of your screen on the left side of the map there. there that crew is working their way up the hill and Apostle Bacon slots himself right in the middle of that whole fight. Space now not wanting to get in front of the leader's way 
lets them all go through. But that looks like it's going to be a pretty good fight here. We'll get on with the tires. Oh, hammer. Uh-oh. Going way too deep into turn four, completely missing his braking zone. And now he's going to have a Daltonian go past him on the inside and is able to go around the outside. But AE going deep as well, but able to get the move done in the end. Into 13th goes AE Daltonian. Uh-oh, now Jin to win it has a penalty. I may have missed that a little while ago, but that's three seconds, so he's going to have to try and open up that gap to Jacko. He's got nine full laps to do it here. It's going to be a tough go. But impossible is going to have a little bit of a run at Money Matt into turn one here. Money not trying to fight the slipstream. Feels like he's going to have it going into turn one, and yes, the confidence pays off. Goes a little bit deep and onto the curb, and that's going to hurt him, hurt him though, coming out of turn one. And Impossible gets alongside him, coming up the hill through turn two. Into three, Impossible's got the full car ahead. Money Matt down the inside line does a good job of getting traction and a little bit of a drag out of the turn. And Money's got DRS, so he's going to be able to get the speed advantage here. And back past Impossible, but Impossible's going to break deep, defending around the outside here wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing in a lot of these turns here in Austria. A solid battle for 11th place here as Impossible is not wanting to give way and pushing Money Matt right along the curb but these cars are still staying alongside and it looks like Impossible Bacon is able to edge out Money Matt in the end. May a slight look at a switch back there through that turn but not enough going there. A Daltonian and Hammer are still duking it out there as Hammer's little deep break point early on there. Jinnit to win it. Can see Chucky Corgi. As he wants to get past him. For a moment there, Jacko slipped just outside of DRS, but that's the one thing that's keeping him close to Jinnit right now. But AE and Hammer somewhat switching positions there a little bit through turn one. Jinnit's got the pass on Chunky. Oh, the best pawns. I saw a car at the last bit there, but the best pawns going around the outside into turn three. Decent camera angle, so I'll take it here in a drag race out into turn four. Hammer gets the position back. Both have DRS. Best pawns seems to have the straight line speed in this advantage. He's on the outside line here. Can he hold it for the move? Does a good job. Still got the car ahead and still battling his way through turn five. Will Ends and HSVDT as well battling. It looks like Best Pawns has the position there, and now Will Ends gets the position ahead. Jinnit to win it has worked himself outside a second of Jacko now, so no DRS for Jacko to stay close. Jinnit to win it has got a Really put it into gear here to try and keep opening up that lead. Money Matt going a little bit deep into of turn one, getting onto the bumps. And Impossible is able to kind of pull away here. A Daltonian is going to be under pressure here from the best pawns as he gets a really good run out of turn one. Will Ends and HSVDT still battling at the back of the pack there. As it shows you either the problems that Will Ends and HSVDT have had in this race or the quality of the rest of the field here tonight to have these two drivers so far back the pack but with a, still a little bit of contact. These guys are as if they're battling for a podium here. But Cake Thomas as well trying to work on these two drivers here. Hotspot finally into the pit. JC Blackley still needs to. Oh, Will Ends oversteer? Or server lag. I'm not too sure, but he falls back. It was actually HSVDT, sorry. I got a little bit of confusion with the cars there. But now Will Lance is battling with Cake Thomas as he was able to slip right by through that whole ordeal there. But now Hammer still working on a Daltonian for 14th place there. Some cars coming out of the pit. Will Lance is not enjoying this host, I can tell you that much. Hotspot has an outside outside shot for top five here, but he's got to get past Spaceman to start. Spaceman is still yet to pit, so actually seven seconds separate Hotspot 
and Valentine for top five. Both have penalties. Hotspot with five, Valentine with three. So we'll actually only five seconds, but Hotspot lets, or sorry, Spaceman lets Hotspot go down the inside line to get the position. Chucky Corgi overtakes the Hammer and has that spot of 13th place, but A.E. Daltonio was kind of looking at taking it back. Maybe a little bit of a bump those two drivers there and doing so it gives A.E. Daltonian a bad run out of turn four but A.E. Daltonian closes the door on Hammer coming through into six but Cake and Will Ann's battling through six as well. Will Ann's gets the car ahead but Cake isn't gonna give way. He wants to try and come back. Hotspot now into fifth with those fresh super softs. The purple tires. Gotta love to see him. Jin has got Jacka right now at 1.75 out. He wants to try and work him at three seconds and not get any penalties here, but Jinnet is known to get a penalty or two from time to time. Oh, and Cake. Where is he? Is that a full VSC? I can't, where's this, where's the sign? It's, oh shoot, I didn't see it. Okay, VSC. As Cake Thomas goes off at turn one. This car is out. I didn't catch the incident there, but that really hurts Cake Thomas as he was in for some pretty decent points there. But unfortunately, DNFing in race week, race one, sprint one of race week one of season three here in the F2 series, Midwest F1 League, but of cows. Now, if you like what you see, make sure you go give us a follow on YouTube as well as check us out on Twitter and Instagram as we try and, and we will be keeping them all a lot more updated than we did in season two. Season two was a real growing month for us and it grew a lot quicker than what we anticipated, so things kind of were left to the wayside, but they will be back with, like I said, I will look into emojis. I was doing a lot last in season two, but my responsibilities have been somewhat delegated outwards, and I'll be able to focus more on the media side of the Midwest F1 League, which is what I was doing prior to in season one, but now I'll be taking a lot more responsibility. I take my responsibility back in that area, so I have to try and progress our media and our viewer side of it all, so be sure to check in week to week and see what is going on in the Midwest F1 League. And I'll try and make daily posts as well on the Twitter and Instagram page. So be sure to give us a follow there and check us out and see what's going on throughout our social media outlets as well. Yeah, media outreach. Ninas and Blackley battling the way through turn 9. Blackley's trying to get a good run out of 10. Right now he's sporting a little bit of penalties, so Ninas kind of has the battle and or the advantage in this battle. Ray with 15 seconds worth of penalties. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Lots and lots of penalties here handed out in Austria. As I say, that hammer gets one. But now Jacko is pushed to 2.5 seconds. Ooh, Jinnit Twitter might be able to do it here. He has been showing he's got better pace throughout this battle. On Austria here, Ninas is doing enough to hold Blackley at bay. Blackley needs to overtake Ninas and then on top of that grow a three second gap if Blackley wants to get into sixth place here. But Ninas also somewhat has an outside shot at a hot spot, but he needs to close a second and a half on hot spot with sporting those fresh super soft, so very difficult task there, but JC Blackley gets a lovely little run out of six and forces Ninas out wide now through seven, in through eight, and they're still duking it out here. Blackley going and the outside as Ninas opened the door ever so slightly and Blackley jumped on it and pounced into sixth place, but Ninas is going to try and battle himself all the way through around ten, and Ninas with DRS now, so Ninas is on the attack into turn one. Back Beside these drivers go through turn one. JC's got the shorter way around the turn. 
Ninas has to slot in behind, and I think neither got DRS. They came over the detection point at the same time. So now Super just has to keep a gap close enough to JC, and JC going over the curb there may warrant himself a warning. So he's going to have to keep his head up for another couple of those. There's one more. And that is the end for his battle of sixth place. HSVDT is under pressure from the Garrus Vac. Here's Vac goes along the inside line or around the outside of turn two. On the inside of turn three, gets 16th place. HS goes very deep, deep enough where Spaceman was somewhat brought into it, but Spaceman can't get back into it. There's a good run out of eight that goes HSVDT and back into 17th place, and plus all those penalties to Spaceman. It's going to hurt him in the end. And I think he understands that he doesn't want to battle drivers too hard, but forces Knuckles out wide, and Knuckles can't get the move done in the end. Battle for the back of the pack here. Somewhat of a pedestrian one, that is, but one it is indeed. And these drivers kind of weave them with themselves through the beginning stages of Sector 3 as well as the ladder of Sector 2. With Spaceman still holding on to 18th place, Knuckles can see it. Well, he'll get it in the end, but hey, he wants to do it on track. Who doesn't? Wide around turn 10 goes Spaceman through into 18th place, goes goes Knuckles, and he's going to try and work on HSBDT. But Super Ninas is actually real close on to JC Blackley as he's done some real good work to get himself back alongside, forces JC Blackley to really have to use those super softs a little more than what he was hoping for. Doing it to win it, back up onto the top there, has worked himself a second and a half out of Jacko, as well as Jacko picking up a penalty there. So Jenna has somewhat secured himself second place. Mystic Joker in somewhat of a race of his own, as he is from time to time, showing some real solid pace consistently, as Valentine was only able to hold him off for a, a short little while until Mystic was able to pull himself away. Was it Valentine or Impossible Bacon that I called solid B-tier driver? Do you remember that, Pork? And Will Ant spills out. And that's Commentator's Kurt, and I'll take that one, as he was doing fine until I came onto his POV, and down the order he goes. He's going to have to pick himself back up in 20th place. But he may be able to get 19th with all those penalties to Spaceman. He's just got to finish the last lap here. He's nearly going to be lap by Mystic Joker, but oh, come on, we'll finish it. You can get now. He's just going to chalk it up and retire and take the points for 20th place. And A Delta putting on a fresh pair of softs. Maybe serving a penalty? I'm not too sure. SVDT does get overtaken by Knuckles there coming up the hill. So now HSVDT tries to work himself back up into the top 15 with both drivers matched and penalties. Jinnit to win it will claim sec. Mystic Joker does get our maiden win in season three. That'd be in the feature race, of course. Jacko coming over the line third. Valentine coming second in qualifying, but finishes fourth in the great hot spot with a lovely little drive into fifth. The Hardest Charger, big Hardest Charger, because we don't really do that in F2. Currently stands with Money Matt. A little bit of position changes going on there. Super Nunes does get JC in the end. Sui is still working on HSVDT as HS is trying to hold on to as many points as he can here. And locking up into nine, Sui can see 16th place as they're not exactly tied on time penalty, so it won't be too much of a difference there, but Impossible Bacon in 8th, Money Matt 9, Chunky Corgi rounding out the top 10, Best Pawns 11th, uh, as he moves up a couple of positions throughout the race, Garrus back in 12th, as he gets himself back up if we're losing a lot of positions to start the whole thing, Knuckles in 14th, HSVDT qualifying 15th and finishing 15th, Sui 16th, Ray 17th, Spaceman 18th, A Daltonian 19th, and Will Anz is actually finishing up here, but... Oh, he's actually getting overtaken. Come on, hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Just send him into the wall. Driving side by side. But I think that's Valentine. 
the Willans are going to come up around the final couple of turns here. And along the wall, celebrating the 20th place finish. So not too shabby for our first go here in Season 3. Starts it off pretty well. Mr. Joker getting the first win. As I said, Jacko with the podium, Janet with the podium. Some good stuff. Good stuff. And there we see Jeanette win it. No, Mystic Joker. Joker, Jeanette, and Jacko. Like, give me a break. Like, guys, come on. Any other freaking letters. It's ruthless. Ruthless. But I digress. We'll go through the finishing results one more time here. So we got Mystic Joker, Jin Twinit, Elma Jacko running at the podium. Two Carlins in Valentine and Hotspot coming in fourth, fifth. Super Nina, sixth. JC Blackley, seventh. Yeah, Impossible Bacon, eighth. Money Matt, ninth. Chunky Corky, tenth. The Best Pawns, eleventh. The Garris Fact, twelfth. Hammer, thirteenth. Knuckles, fourteenth. HSVDT, fifth, eighth. Sui, Ray, Spaceman, Eight Daltonian, Will Ans, the bottom five, Kate Thomas getting the DNF in the end. Unfortunate stuff from him, but he does have a chance to get some points back in the sprint race. Do, do, do. But anyway, if you like what you see, be sure to come back tomorrow night, 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern. We are back with Season 3. Starting in Canada, which was, awkwardly enough, just taken off of the Formula 1 calendar this year. And replaced with Turkey. That is what it is. Things happen. The home Grand Prix for the Midwest F1 League, not in the IRL, mid or the, uh, the IRL F1 League. So, this is something we got to deal with, I guess. Hopefully, I believe it should be in the game next year. I didn't read the logistics on why it was taken out, but that kind of sucks. I'm a big fan of the Canadian Grand Prix. Circuit Jacques Villeneuve. Kind of getting lost into Twitch a little bit here. I should probably stop. Okay. But to the sprint race, we are going to go. Fully sunny. Doesn't look like there's any bit of risk of rain after the wet qualifying earlier. So we'll see if there's any chance of it. I highly doubt it. That looks like a very sunny day. But the sprint race is up next here. Points still on the line. You gotta look for Cake Thomas here. Cake, hoping you get a good finish here. Try and gain back as much points as you possibly can. 
and to gain as many positions back up the standings as possible. As it is the first race week, but still you don't want to be leaving points out on the table. You want to be doing as much as you can with every race. So to the sprint race we are going to go. I'm not sure if this is a scuffed lobby. We'll have to see. I think we're trying to work. Might be without a chunky corgi. But yeah, I think they're trying to get chunky corgi into the lobby. I'm not too sure what is happening. Okay, we're about to start here. And of course the top eight positions are reversed. So we got Impossible, Spe Impossible Bacon sorry, starting on the top. Mystic Joker gets a really bad start and he actually loses a couple of spots here, but Impossible taking the lead. JC or was that Valentine? I'm not sure who that was. Might have been JC. He tries to go down the inside line off the get. But that's going to actually lose him a couple of spots here and a full on safety car right out of the gate. Looks like the best pawns AE. Was AE even in it? But we're going to keep trucking here. We got a little bit of a backup with the safety car. So this is the time where I have to fill in with things to say. I know exactly what to do. Division 1 will go through the rosters on how much they've changed. And who I think will be the super team. So Helg and Smith Pell are sporting the Alpha Tories. We'll have to see how those two can do. Yolmir and Enrique, which is a pretty solid team. Seabury and Cake Thomas. Mm, so these first three teams I'm um, I'm calling mid pack. My guess with McLaren is maybe in Red Bull with Seabury and Cake are as mid-pack as mid-pack can get. We see some cards in the pit quickly, sorry. Mystic Joker, HSVDT, Money Matt, Ray, Sui, and Cake Thomas. Scavney and Nikki. Okay. Jinnit to win it and Impossible Bacon. That's potential Constructor Championship right there. Sui and Pork Chops. That's going to be a mid pack battle as well. Random Sirius and Mayomir. 
that's potential drivers championship or constructors championship as well in the pink Mercedes, the BWT Racing Point. Um, Mystic Joker and Kenny in the Williams drivers championship battle there as well. Hash and JC Blackley mid pack battle. Cam and Super Ninas. That'll be up there as well. So there's okay. There's there's gonna be there's gonna be some real. This these are some pretty good teams. Um, Suey so of course in so the drivers that came up with Smith Pell finished second slash first because Sadistic King won it all and then retired. Smith Pell second, Sweet third, Hash fourth, Ninas fifth. So Smith Pell's with Helg. So he, from what I remember, he was really good with consistency and the best pawns is retired in pits. Okay. Interesting enough. Do we know how good Ninas is? Hash is a good driver. Sui is a pretty good driver as well. So we got some four pretty good drivers coming out. I don't think we have any superstars down there other than Sadistic King, but he's he's called it quits here. So a lot of really good drivers came up here. Um, I don't want to call... who my pick is going to be for relegation battle. Mystic Joker is definitely favorite to win the entire shindig. So we'll see how that goes. Jinnit to win it in the Merc is going to battle him real good as well. If this Cam is back full time, he'll battle him hard as well. So those are my three front runners for Drivers Championship. We, we got to see more from Kenny here this year in the Williams. He just didn't produce in season two. Maybe kind of dealing with a little bit of the hangover that was his driver's championship win in season one. You know what? Maybe I will post my Div 1 predictions. Or I'll make it up. I might send it to Jacko. I'll, I'll toss it over to Jacko and see what Jacko thinks of it. But two drivers DNF early here with Ray and the best pawns after a little bit of an incident early on here. Safety car has got to come in this lap as the whole pack is virtually caught up. Um, Div 2, I don't know all too much about. That's more hotspots range. The Monkey Mafia as well, but Monkey's actually joined the booth. But I'll have to talk to Fallen Monkeys about the drivers coming up into Div 2. But we do have some quality down in Div 2 as well, so... This is gonna start really getting good. Like, this is gonna, like, Valentine's down there, AP7's down there. Soya Loco, Div 3 winners down, Uncle Ben's Rice, Nero Nix, Hightower, I watched him, he was pretty good. Ray, Noganator Div 1 last year, ZGS Div 1 last year. Will Lands, he's a good driver, like, Div 2 is going to be an absolute dog fight. Div 3, how much do I know about Div 3 racing, Ginger, Snucker, Kaz, the best pawns. Wild of Rise, K Dog, Muppet, It's Heavy, Houdini. But we're about to get going here. Div 3 is going to be good too. We'll have to see what Clogmonger can do down there. But we're back live. Knuckles already losing a position. Chunky Corgi getting a really good start and going down the inside line, but kind of gets cut off from his team at the Garris back there. Knuckles trying to find his way back on track. Doing so, loses a couple positions. A Daltonian as well, right alongside him going up the hill. Hotspot and JC Blackley seems to be battling as well. Jacko and Jinnet, that'll be a fun battle as we've got a big cluster here. Hotspot's leading the way out of turn three in fourth place. Jinnet to win it, losing a couple positions. Down the order he goes. JC Blackley looks to be close alongside him down the inside line into fours. We're on board with Jinnet to win it, and whoa! 
Hammer, hammer, hammer. What happened there, my guy? But Jacko's getting really close onto the battle. Breaks early. Doesn't want to get his nose too dirty here. But he's going to try and send it back around the outside line. Valentine, I believe, got the pass on Super Ninas here. Hot spot as well, trying to get past JC Blackley still. Jinnit to win it is back close in these drivers. Sue Wee as well with the Garris back. And oh no, a tap from Jinnit. And Jacko spins in a very bad part. Wow. Imagine seeing that IRL. That'd be freaky. But unfortunately, the tap from Jinnit forces a VSC. And Jack goes down the pack. Why did Mystic Joker pit twice? He's got on some super softs here. Should be able to send those eight laps, but that's a lot of positions he needs to gain. Well, we'll have to see. But Hotspot's trying to work himself into the podium here. JC Blackley is the driver, separating him from that. The Garris back is not too far out. Jinnit to win it. And imagine he'll get a penalty for the tap with Jackos that sent him all the way down the order. And it, ouch. Speeding and drive throughs to Corgi and Matt. That hurts the cause. Kate going deep through turn one as Hammer sees another driver do to him what he just did right before to Jin to win it. Jin somehow letting him go by and now Hammer doing the exact same thing tries to break deeper than he can but Will Ants gets a really good run out of three and he's now going to get real close on a cake and not close enough as cake does a really good job of breaking late and I'm not exactly sure what happened there, but Will Ann's unfortunately spinning out here. Has some more bad luck to him. Not what he was anticipating. Mystics worked himself back up into 11th here. You can see 10th place right ahead of him, but Hammer uh, is kind of in the way with HSVDT getting right alongside down the inside line of turn 9 and a clean overtaking before the DRS. Mystic Joker is going to want a good run out of turn 10, which is what he does, and he's already passed Hammer even before the wing comes open on both drivers here. And now Mystic is going to try and work on HSVDT, as HS won't have DRS here, so Mystic now seeing ninth place as we come up the hill. And a clean overtake goes Mystic Joker into ninth place, and he's going to try and catch Cake Thomas. But Ninas has actually closed the gap to Valentine here. As Valentine can feel that first place in trouble. Hotspot still stuck in behind JC Blackley. But the battle for first place is where we're going to go. Nina's breaking a little bit too late and kind of ruins his turn out and uh, when Matt is into the pit and having to serve that penalty is going to push him way down the order. But Nina just can't get a good run out of those turns into the DRS straights. Valentine should be able to hold on to first place here. Not enough for Nina's to go into turn three. But Hotspot, here we go, has gotten real close onto JC Blackley. Forces him. Whoa. 
not sure what happened there if he got some crazy overseer but he got right in front of hotspot but hotspot is going to work himself into a third place position for a second Jinnit it to win it down the inside line is now going to battle hotspot throughout turn five as he wants his chance at third place i'm not sure if there's a tap there there may have been but hotspot is able to hold on to the position in the end Minas is still working on Valentine here. A penalty to Jinnit. That's going to really hurt his chances. He's got to hurt for JC and a hot spot to both collect penalties. I don't think there's enough laps left in this race to get it done. Super Nina is once again getting just a little bit too close to Valentine coming out of turn 10 and really hurts his run into an attempt for first place there. And now Hotspot can see first place as well as third place ever so close trying to get into the slipstream. Does, and he's going to get close, but is it close enough into turn three? JC Blackley is forced out wide. Jinnit to win it goes right around the outside through turn three, trying to get himself into third place as well, looking to warm up the tires coming down the straight here. Nothing quite going. Ninas doesn't have a move yet. Jacko and Will Ads battling through the turn. Oh, what are these two going to do going into four? It's actually Jacko who has the DRS and gets a clean position. But Ninas getting so close to Valentine, kind of doing it on the wrong areas of track here. Around turn six and a spin. But I think that's Will Ads once again. We'll have to stay on to the battle here. Jinnit getting real close. Hotspot not close enough. What's Jinnit going to do? He's going to want to try and time a good launch out, which he does by doing so. He's going to get so very close to Hotspot. Ninas finally gets past Valentine with three full laps to go. Valentine, I don't think that's the route you want to take, my guy. Jinnit gets past Hotspot. I uh, didn't catch the battle there as I was working on position one and Valentine's back close to Super Ninas going down the inside line taking the shorter way around the track trying to send it around the outside is Ninas doing a good job back down the inside he goes but Valentine gets the job done in the end but all this happening has brought JC Blackley within DRS range and that's helped himself out immensely as he tries to hold off for third place as well. Ninas is going to get real close once again. And now still the battle. Oh my god, when is this... It's just these guys aren't giving way. JC Blackley is going to try and hold off Jinnit, but Jinnit breaks real deep. And oh no, contact! To who is that? Valentine and JC Blackley. Oh no. I just got a terrible camera angle there. Now the Garris Vac is in position to potentially nab a podium pending on what the stewards decide with Jinnit to win it earlier on with the con the the collision that he had with Jacko to push him down the grid. Mystic Joker he's getting very close on Vac and you'll have actually a little bit of an outside chance of taking podium here. So he's trying to close the gap to Vac but it all depends on what the gap to Jinnit and Vac is, or Jinnit and Mystic. Mystic's on some really old super softs here. I'm not exactly sure where the pit came from once again, but Ninas is in first place with two full laps to go. Down the inside line goes Jinnit. Super can't quite defend enough.
back alongside Nina's the inside line into four. He's got the full car length ahead. Jinnet breaks real deep. A little bit of a contact pushes Jinnet out wide. Nina's back into the lead. Mystic trying to catch back, but I, those super softs are on their last legs here. Ooh. So Jinnet got a really good run out of seven there and kind of got into the back of Ninas because Ninas didn't get as good of a run as Jinnet did. We were on to the final lap here. Jinnet trying to get the move done on Ninas. Down the inside line he goes into turn one. The full car is ahead. Uh, just barely goes off. Does get DRS. But Ninas is dragging him up the hill into three. Jinnet with the inside line is able to outbreak. S holds on to first place, but now Ninas gets DRS. Does a good job of knowing when to attack. A Daltonian is gonna is gonna be getting blue flags here, but Jinnet sends it back down the inside line. A switchback goes Ninas. AE's trying to trying to drive away from him. <laughs> Get out of the way, my guy. Ninas is battling around the outside line as these guys are trying to battle all the way through, but Jin is able to take the position in the end of the turn. AE, you're getting blue flags, dude. As AE finally lets the drivers go through. Hotspot is going to get third place in the end. Jin is going to come over the line in first, but he's going to drop to third. Garrett's back in fourth. Three seconds separates him and Jin. Keep that in mind. Oh, Valentine was trying to drag Mystic to the end there. Mystic comes over fifth. JC six. Valentine seventh. After that little crash. HSVDT finishes two thousandths of a second outside of Valentine for seventh place there. Knuckles ninth, Hammer tenth, Jacko eleventh, Chunky twelfth, Money trying to hit the wall coming over. Oh, there you go. Cake Thomas, that's how you do it. In thirteenth, Money fourteenth, Sui in fifteenth, A Daltonian is going to finish in eighteenth a lap down possible 16th not what he was hoping for and spaceman will collect 17th once it's all finished but that is gonna bring us to an end here tonight oh oh come on you can do better than that oh oh imagine if you hit that car That is it. No more racing for Midwest tonight. I hope that you all enjoyed it, as I sure as heck did. Season 3 is back. Midwest is back. Shortened season. Only 13 weeks, I believe it is. Uh, schedule 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 week season through the entire schedule. No breaks as we want to try and get as many races as we can in before F1 2021 comes out. But congratulations to those on the podium here in the sprint race. Good stuff all around. Nina Askin, I think his second or third win in Midwest. So well done to you, sir. But we'll go down the grid once I get All right, super neat ass in this print race with the win. Hotspot second, Jinna to win it. Third, Garris back fourth. Mr. Chuka fifth, JC Blackley sixth, Valentine seventh, HSVT eighth, Knuckles ninth, Hammer finishing and rounding out the top ten. A lot more Canadians in this now. I like it. Jacko coming eleventh, not what he was hoping for, but it is what it is. Chunky Corky twelfth, Cake 
13th, Money Matt 14th, Sui 15th, Impossible 16th, Super Spaceman 17th, AE a lap down at 18th, Will Ans, the best pawns, and Ray DNFing here. And a quick peek at the feature race that was Mr. Joker, Jinnit Twin, and Jacko taking the home the podium, a usual podium that we'll imagine to see quite a bit here in Season 3 for Thursday night. But, like I said, that's it for us. Got nothing left. Sorry, not sorry. I gotta go do some stuff. But, like I said, I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow night. See, that's not so bad. Not too far away. 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern. You can catch myself along with my new co-host, El Majaco, as you just saw him there finish in 2nd and 11th, I believe it was. So be sure to tune into that. See what the chemistry is between me and a different Australian. Will it be the same? Will it be different? Only one way to find out. Be sure to come and check it out tomorrow night. Uh, I don't know what I was doing there. But, like I said, that's it for me. I will see you tomorrow. I've been Crash McQueen. We've been the Midwest F1 League. 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern, tomorrow night. We will see you then, live at the Canadian Grand Prix.